tuning into your breath and dropping into the heart. Or perhaps share a, a couple of ohms together to center ourselves. Breathing in. And calling upon the life force power of the universe, invoking the mystery of the divine feminine, the mystery of the veil, all that's behind the veil, invoking the cosmic Christ consciousness, the source of all that is, the many and the one. Invoking Lord Jesus, Lord Buddha, Lord Maitreya, Isis, Durga, Hecate, there are a few goddesses involved with this particular eclipse. Lilith is one of them. Lord Shiva is also involved. Holding us all in his containment. So I invoke Lord Shiva. As always, uh, Venus, goddess of love, but particularly today in this eclipse, she is involved. So it's just breathing these ones in to your field, into your heart, as you breathe in and out. Extending your grounding cord into the core of the earth. And we have already commenced our prayer for those arriving. So just dropping further into the heart, into the lower be belly, knowing that we are sealed and surrounded by the six-pointed star of David, the upward-facing and downward-facing pyramid. infusing this Star of David with the highest frequencies of love. As we breathe in and out together, we are being filled And we are resonating now, communing, with liquid love, moving through our cells as we take each breath into our hearts. And surrounding the periphery of our auras, there is a constant in and out 
resonance of the tidal flow that is naturally occurring in the tidal flow of the cosmic inward and outward flow of the galaxy feeding our beings we are fluid beings so allowing this fluid liquid love to curse through your blood your nervous systems into all your 24 bodies and systems running through your heart your organs the cells of your brain moving throughout all the cell walls and move, merging and moving with the communion of all the gods and goddesses, the archetypes, so that a purification of love's innate core essence begins to occur in our bodies, in our vehicles, allowing Shakti to have her way filling your spiritual essence and flushing any and all ancestral, cultural, past traumas from any lifetime, this one too, just emptying out now, allowing any and all without grasping to figure out anything. It doesn't matter what it is, just let it all fall through you. Allow history, the patriarchal story of whatever has laid behind us, whatever has happened or occurred up until now, let it all fall away. Any and all emotions, any and all mental, spiritual esoteric, etheric, anything. It's falling now. It's through your Shishuma down into the core of the earth. And give it all to the Divine Mother. Allow her to take everything as you breathe in and out. Occupying your heart chakra, feeling the expansion of your heart chakra, moving into a greater expansion of the walls of your heart chakra. Mm, 
so that we can now imagine the goddesses that are also involved in this lunar eclipse. We are being supported by Lilith, Durga. Their frequencies are assisting us. So know that all around us, Hecate, Medusa, they are standing right next to us. assisting humanity as we breathe through these days, weeks and months. The messages from the cosmos the frequencies of love will echo constantly through the next six months even as the planets turn direct late August, September, October so we have an internal ride for quite a while So allow these goddesses to dance their Shakti and Shiva is there to receive all of these goddesses right now within you. the Christ Consciousness, the Father of your soul, Mother of your soul. In this meditation, we are focusing on them. In our daily life, we tend to forget. But right now, create the anchor. Anchor in to dance, to move. Connect deeply in with their with their hearts, with their subtle movements. Anchor into Shiva's containment. He has a deeply foundational holding of you, of us all. As the various aspects of the goddesses assist us. So as you breathe in and out, Know that your breath, particularly today, is seeding your next six months as we move into the weeks, up to the solstice, into July, the next two eclipses, layer upon layer. We are seeding ourselves to merge deeper and deeper with our galactic brothers and sisters who hold us in a frequency, in an exponential, uh, frequential resonance. And each time you mindfully 
uh, and foundationally hook into them, you are assuring your, your pathway home to source. Expand your belief. Expand your perspective. See your mental body now, left to right. Your third eye. And now expand this uh, skin boundary of your mental body out into your auric field out across the horizon of planet Earth, extending your third eye vision out into the galaxy. Give your third eye vision to Lilith, to Hecate, to Durga. Entrust yourself to them, to the Divine Mother of your soul so that your perspective expands with their perspective. Breathe. We are going to need it. Ground now into the father of your soul, mother of your soul, mother earth. Ground yourself. Anchor that mindful perspective of greater knowing. For indeed, indeed, knowing is an expanded belief that is rock solid. So anchor in as you expand your hor horizontal extension that is 360 around planet Earth as we move fluidly through the galaxy as we now anchor into the galactic attractor those of you who connected in and joined us a bit later this eclipse connects into the galactic attractor. So just connecting in now. And infusing, flushing with liquid love, with the highest frequencies of love, so that we are constantly entirely protected that we are filled with an ongoing dissolvement in each now moment of the next ancestral cultural trauma that needs to flow and leave your vehicle. So grounding into the core of the earth once again, letting go. As we move forward beyond this eclipse into the next two, into August, September, October, we will need to constantly release and let go. So, exhaling and being that fluid waterfall that releases into Mother Earth, soul composting. Don't question your emotional body 
that is prompting you to release. Your emotional body is a vehicle that is yours to use at a pristine level as you breathe in and out. Exhale any and all emotion that you are not comfortable with. Just simply let it go. And move forward into the next now moment. We literally are not being given any more breaks. We need to move forward constantly now into the next gateway, into the next gateway. We had decades to prepare ourselves. We had last year to prepare ourselves. And so now, whatever arises, let it go. And create what you need on a dime in this next now moment. Move with the Shakti. Shakti is everything that is occurring. Shakti is the Divine Mother. She is here now in this world. And if we want to be on the leading edge as we breathe in and out, we need to constantly let go in order to be in step with her. Shakti is the emotional body. Use her. Constantly dissolve. Constantly breathe. She is the breath. She is your heartbeat. She is the mystery that is this cosmos. She is that which tingles through your crown chakra right now. And breathe. Just remember these words and let go. Let go constantly. Be the one to show your community how to do this. To breathe, to feel the outer realms of your auric field. What is Shakti telling you now in your world? She is alive. She is not what you see on your TV. And yet, that is some people's reality. And we are here to guide others. We are one with everything. And so, on the outer extensions, periphery of our galactic world, these goddesses are there to hold us to dance with us, to assist us, to merge with their Shiva. These are the ones involved in this eclipse that we are literally walking through now. So walk with these goddesses. Feel your arms. Perhaps you feel as if you have more than two. These goddesses have multiple arms. 
and they dance with them. Feel the energy swirl all around your field. There is a cosmic dance that is rearranging you on a uh, DNA level, your blueprint down to your cells. Allow your cells to be rearranged as you breathe with Mother Earth, with the Shakti of these goddesses. Tap into the electric messaging service of the planets. Begin your relationship, Venus, with this electrical current, Uranus. Planets that are involved right now. Feel the electricity moving through your neurotransmitters in your brain. Aligning that which needs to be aligned on a deeper level. Let go. Receive the alignment. It's almost as if you are lying down within the fluidity of that which is you. Lie down and allow the waters of Shakti to run over you and caress you. To iron out any and all kinks Receive everything without question. For in, indeed you are in the flow of liquid love. Allow her to override everything within you. She is flipping the switches of multiple lifetimes. You need all your switches flipped. Allow your head to fall back. Allow her to caress you. To move your heart like the waves washing over you in the ocean. It's as if you are lying at the edge of the ocean and the sea foam opening to the oxygen, to the air, and you are awakening to all the stars in the galaxy. You are a galactic, multidimensional being. Breathe. And for those of you that have experienced the silent OM. Allow the silent OM to resonate deep within your being. A practice that can be continued throughout your day to further activate all of who you are.
so that you can move through each and every gate that we walk up to. It's just a gate. It just has information. If there's something that frightens you, it's just information. Breathe it in and breathe it out. Allow it to move through you. Let the fear go. Give it to Mother Earth. All of it is information. Give it to the Cosmic Christ Consciousness. Whoever the Cosmic Christ Consciousness is for you, call upon your Shiva, your Krishna, your Jesus, your Buddha, hand it over and revel in your now. It is all stories coming to completion. And the one that is rumbling now in the outer world, yes, it's an enormous story that has to come to closure. So you do your part in allowing it to close. Let it go through your field. Give it to Mother Earth. For some of you present and those listening, it runs through your ancestral line. Let the cords, the filaments, the ribbons, the neurotransmitter Admitting pieces of information run through you and drop them. Drop them. Like leads on the end of a fishing line, drop the lead. Give it to the Divine Mother. She is the end point. so that we can move through the leading edge of now. So as we stand at the great attractor, that is the leading edge with the moon right now. She is leading us now to the literal gateway of the eclipse happening shortly in an hour or so wherever you are breathe and be at the leading edge Be with the Shakti moving through you, exhaling and inhaling again. And at the top of your inhale, sound your silent Om deep within you as you join the cosmic celestial beings and radiate love out into your world wherever you are and join the orchestra join the song feel the song the harmonic
What is your note? How can you constantly express your note, your harmonic, into this world merged with Shakti? Send it out now across your horizontal field. Use your third eye to focus your harmonic note out into the galactic great attractor through your heart, through your third eye, through your skin, through your auric field, with all the goddesses and celestial beings. Yeah, I am being really big about this. This is a big now moment. Each now moment is enormous. And your heartbeat counts on this planet Earth. You are here for a reason. Get down to what what that's all about and resonate your beingness and help other people do that too. So out on the leading edge, it's almost as if we literally have our toes around the disk that is the galactic attractor that we are standing upon. Feel the celestial wind blow through your hair. The golden shimmering light of Shakti sparking, igniting the edges of your aura. Simultaneously beating in your heart. And breathe in life. And allow her to express within you. And I have run over time with this time together. I am sure that is perfect. So remember these experiences, these words, and call them up in your day. Utilize the mechanism of letting go when your emotional body arises with something that may feel uncomfortable. Let it go. Use Shakti to help you so that you can arise into her limitless love. Cursing through your skin boundary into your auric field and out into your world. So coming down from the great attractor in our mind's eye, in our hearts. For those of you who know you can handle that, you can cruise through your day. But for those who need to ground back into uh, the core of the earth, anchor deeply in, and it's always a good exercise to do so, to anchor back, to breathe, And to bow deeply within yourself to Shakti, 
to the mystery of the Divine Feminine, the Divine Mother, where all these great goddesses that we have experienced with today through this eclipse that will resonate over the next six months. Hecate, Durga, Lilith, yes, the Divine Masculine, Shiva, is also here. And we give thanks to Father, Mother of our souls, the Christ Consciousness. And I give thanks to all those present here with this meditation. I say namaste to you and thank you for all that you do in your world and with all the souls that you connect with. We will meet here at this same time, 7 a.m., 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 7 a.m. Hawaiian Standard Time. Next eclipse, June 20th, the solstice, at this same Zoom number. Blessings to you. Namaste.